Hi guys, I'm Bob G and I'm going to show you guys my basic mono behavior singleton instance setup tool. I know that was a big mouthful, but it's actually super simple. Now you guys might have worked with singleton instances before and well, then you know exactly what this is. And this is set up for mono behavior. So I'm just first of all going to show you the use case for it. So let's say I have this game manager that I just made for testing and it just holds my favorite number. It does nothing else. It just holds my favorite number. And then I have this game object, which is just text that holds uh, or that sets the text to the favorite number that's here. But currently it doesn't know what favorite number it is. And I know that I could set up the game manager as a variable in here. And, you know, even though that wouldn't work, if you spawned the object, you could find it by using tags or like, but that's actually a much easier way of doing this, which is by using the singleton design setup. So the way that this works is you just simply write singleton and then I just type in the type it is, which is a game manager for testing. And there we go. Now the singleton is set up. And now to be able to get the favorite number and set it over here, I'll just write favorite number equals to game manager for testing dot instance dot my favorite number. And there you go. Now it's set up and it knows the favorite number. So if we now go into Unity and press play, you'll see the favorite number is now set up to be 13. And it's as easy as that. So this singleton setup right here actually uh, also makes sure that there's only one instance of the game manager for testing. So you can't accidentally have two of them. That's part of the singleton setup is you only have one instance. The second part is you might want this game manager to last throughout all of your scenes, which means you just don't destroy and load. And that's also a setup for this. It's just singleton persistent and the exact same thing. And there you go. Now that would work perfectly as well for multiple scenes. This is basically the entire tool. I hope this was helpful to you and please let me know what you think in the description. It's extremely basic, extremely simple, and I will leave the link to it in the description. I'll try and set it up on the asset store so you can just easily download it and get started.